Next question is from Elfers215. Is CBD a positive post-workout or does it prevent the positive inflammation from resistance training? I know you guys promote CBD, but I'm just curious about this instance. Yeah, that's actually a good question, right? So the, the reason why they're asking this is when you work out, you send this inflammatory signal. You, right. you actually start to get a little inflammation. So you got into the conversation of is inflammation really bad all the time? Right. And you need this, right? This inflammation signal is what tells the body to build muscle and to recover. Studies actually show that when people take uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, Often, they actually build less muscle, and over time, they actually start to get deg degradation of their joints and stuff because it's too it's blocking the inflammation signal mm -hmm. too much. And Which so the body, promotes change. Yeah, so the body's like not doing anything to, to build muscle or strengthen because of it or doing less, right? So this question is, because CBD is anti-inflammatory, is that going to dampen the muscle building signal? Now, here's the thing with CBD. It's not nearly as anti-inflammatory as like – ibuprofen, right? right? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get this super strong, acute anti-inflammatory response. It's kind of the systemic anti-inflammatory response that happens and you get a little bit when you take it once, but over time you start to see it. It also balances out inflammation. Now, will it reduce the muscle building signal? Maybe, maybe we're splitting hairs here, but the way it works is different and it kind of balances out inflammation. So I would say in some people, you might even see the use of cannabinoids help them build muscle. Um, so uh, as far as whether or not it's good or bad post-workout, I would say you're probably uh, splitting hair. Now, to take it as a workout performance enhancer and that kind of stuff, I think w waste that's, of money. I also yeah. think that's kind of yeah. I, would, I guess I would question uh, what is the desired outcome of even taking it post-workout? Like, why would that? I mean, the only thing I could think of is some, maybe somebody likes to use maybe it. You think it recovery I think it's faster? been promoted as a recovery aid. That's, oh, yeah, it, oh, that's a good point. That. There are a bunch of dumb dumbs in our space that have been promoting it like that. You're yeah, right. Yeah. No, no. Okay. So I get, yeah, no, that's a terrible way to use it. I, you know, I think, you know, bringing down like uh, stress, anxiety, helping you sleep at yeah. night, gut issues if you're trying Chronic to. Chronic inflammation. Like, yeah. if you're fighting that in your gut or something like constantly, I think it's a great aid for that. But, like, yeah, in terms of like inflammation from, and stress from workouts. Like I don't really see much. Yeah, of it. and you know, in the, in the back in the day, and especially in the seventies, I know that uh, the the bodybuilders of Southern California, it was a thing that they did post workout as they all smoked, smoked a, a deal. They'd smoke a joint. They'd eat a big ass meal, and then they go in the sun. And then they go lay out in the sun. Yep. Um, and I mean, I know they're all genetic freaks and on on steroids and stuff, but they were so attuned to their body. They that did I'm a sure, lot of things right back then. I'm sure, sure they would have stopped if they said, "Oh wait, I think this is making me you know, right. lose muscle." They would all have a like I said, a joint post in that famous scene from Pumping Iron, right? When Arnold at the very end, he's got the shirt that says <laughs> Numero Uno. Arnold's Numero Uno. Yeah. He's hitting a joint. So 